Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to Shared Extensions. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Um, any information you guys need, you can find it within the description box down below. I do have uh, personal readings open right now for email readings. Those are $20.20. .20. So um, you can ask up to five questions for those. Uh, all that information is in the description box, okay? So let's go ahead and get started here for you Sagittarius for your weekly reading, okay? What are we getting here for you? Move this over. Okay. Overall, looks like a good week. I mean, there is some concerning energy here, but we do have the Queen of Wands uh, as your overall. Okay, so uh, Queen of Wands, she can face anything. Okay, so that is a card of courage. It's a card of, you know, somebody who has backbone, who's very bold. So um, I like that a lot. It also represents committing to something. So that's your overall energy for the week. So I feel like whatever issues you're up against, you are going to tackle them uh, confidently and courageously. So I feel like you will get through those just fine. Um, but there are a few concerning energies that show up here. But I want to let you all know that if this does not resonate with you in the beginning, you're more than welcome to stick around or skip around you may find something that is meant for you because I'm trying not to read in a straight line okay so we have the uh, king of cups showing out here for the first card uh, that's scorpionic energy um, so I feel like you guys start off the week pretty well here okay it seems like you're ready to master whatever comes your way let's look at what's going on with this king of cups here for you guys the moon Pisces energy the star Aquarian energy the Hermit, Virgo energy. So it seems like there's something you're going through here emotionally that's a lot bigger than you thought. Okay, it's a lot. In order to heal it, it's going to take a lot more time than you expected. That's how that feels to me. Okay, with the uh, Hermit showing up here, this is going to take a lot of introspection. Okay, a lot of solitude. Um, you have the Star card here, which is saying that you are being guided to heal this. This may be something that you think about pretty often at night with the Star, the Moon, and the Nine of Swords all showing up in the same spread. But the Moon card is saying that there's going to be a lot of reflection. You know, you start this all feeling very confident. It's some kind of emotional... Um, you know, issue that you're uh, just not recognizing, but it seems like you just kind of shrug it off and then it comes back up here and you realize that it's something much bigger um, that's going to take some more time to get over than you expected, okay? So it's not one of those things that you can just shrug off. Then you have the Nine of Swords here, all right? Mars and Gemini energy. It seems like you're fighting with yourself about something here. Give me the Nine of Swords. King of Pentacles, the Lovers. And the Ace of Pentacles. It could be about a commitment or lack thereof, I should say. Um, I feel like there's someone here for some of you guys. Um, where there's someone who could be a little bit distant from you. I feel like you are in a connection with this person. Possibly a commitment, but it seems like maybe you want more. With the Ace of Pentacles there, alright? Um, so you're in some kind of connection or relationship where you want to level up. Is how that feels. You have the world on the bottom, okay? So there's something about that here where you feel some distance or like a guard being put up, okay? When the King of Pentacles shows up, you know, you can't even really tell where he ends, where his environment begins. So that to me can be a card of somebody who can be very guarded, okay? And then you have the distance between these two figures here in the card and that little mountain growing in the background, which to me can represent a challenge and, of course, distance between two individuals in a connection. We also have the Ace of Pentacles here, which is a seed, but it's not yet hit the soil. So there's something here that has not, there's a seed that's not been planted, basically. There's, um, you know, there's there's something here where it's something's not been solidified um, as far as it can be, okay? So there's some stress surrounding that, okay? Um, because there's something you want to do here. When the nine, when the nines, any nines really show up, sometimes that can signify, you know, wanting to wrap something up. So I feel like you're really battling with yourself about that. Um, on Wednesday, you have the death card, Scorpionic Energy. So let's look into that and see what's going on with it. What's going on with the death card? Wednesday for Sagittarius. I'm not going to take all those because that was a lot. I want three for this. The Ten of Cups, Mars and Pisces, the Hair Font, Taurus, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, 
fixed energy Aquarius Taurus, Scorpio and Leo so Wednesday's going to be a big day for you guys in terms of a turnaround okay um, when the hair font shows up that can talk about um, the higher powers of course it can talk about institutions things of that nature um, you know it talks about structure though I feel like there's a part of you that you're kind of killing off here um, and I feel like this is going to be one of those days uh, where you're getting more you're getting closer to the new you, okay? You're getting closer to that rebirth energy is how that feels to me here. Um, some of you, this could have been triggered by a Taurus or a Scorpio specifically, but it almost seems like today you're just kind of refusing to confront those dark energies, and that's okay. You can have days where you don't want to confront those dark energies, okay? Um, so there's something about that here where I feel like Wednesday will be a good day, okay? I feel like, again, I feel like you're getting closer to um, the new you is how that feels to me rather than uh, clinging on to the old you. So that's how that feels. And then on Thursday, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So let's look at that. What's going on with the Wheel of Fortune, please, for Sagittarius on Thursday? It seems like some of you guys, if you're in a marriage, um, if you're in a marriage or if you have children, I feel like Wednesday will be a good day uh, in terms of home and family. All right. So I feel like there will be a big change in the home. Something is going to be signed or something of that nature here. Give me the Wheel of Fortune. All right, we're getting the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands, okay? So, I feel some Busy Bee energy on um, Thursday, okay? So, it seems like it, oh, there's just a lot that you're doing here. When the Wheel of Fortune shows up, sometimes to me that can be somebody who's running in circles, all right? You have the uh, Empress here and the Eight of Pentacles, all right? So, the Empress is all about growth. It's a very fertile energy, very abundant, um, you know, kind of card, right? And then we have the Eight of Pentacles, somebody who's very hard at work, very focused on something, very committed to something. Like I said, I feel like you're in this space where it's almost like, yeah, you recognize that there's a lot that you have to work through emotionally, but there's also a lot that you have to get done physically. I feel like you're in a space where you're really... Uh, balancing that well so I like that a lot for you guys uh, page of wands again would uh, tell me that you're um, you know pages are the errand runners they're also the messengers so if you could have a message from a fellow fire sign coming in on Thursday all right um, or there could also be some kind of news being delivered to you guys uh, you could be learning something about a passion of yours but for the most part I feel like that page of wands is kind of you running errands okay um, so we have these seven of wands Mars and Leo showing up for Friday so let's look at that Mm -hmm. So you have the uh, Eight of Cups, the Justice card, and the Eight of Wands, okay? I feel like a lot of you are walking away from something karmic here with these two cards showing up. Could be a Libra. You got uh, Saturn and Pisces here. Then you have the Eight of Wands. So you move from the Seven to the Eight of Wands, and I think that that's really important in this situation because regardless of whether or not you're walking away from someone who is karmic, I feel like you're in a space where you're about to close out something that is karmic, okay? So uh, this is a lesson all on your own is how I feel here for a lot of you guys. Something has been missing from your life. I feel like you're figuring out exactly what that is, all right? Uh, for some of you guys, this... Uh, whatever this is, it um, has been bottled down, okay? Uh, if you look at him, he's kind of pressing those other wands down there in that card, and you know exactly what it is. You know, when those wands, this is a, this uh, Eight of Wands, that's a card of precision. So I feel like you know exactly what it's going to take to make things right within, and I feel like that's exactly what you're going for here. Um, there's a void that you've been trying to fill in some way, shape, or form that you know is not the proper way to fill that void. So um, I definitely think that that's something that you're facing. So um, again, I feel like you start tackling those emotional issues here on Friday, all right? So so I feel like that's something you start to work through. You have the Six of Swords on Saturday, Mercury and Aquarius. And I really like this because there are wounded figures here in this boat. This man is steering from these, um, you know, really tumultuous waters onto these calm, still waters. So that is a card of moving through something. All right, so let's look here. What's this Six of Swords about, please? Hmm. I feel like you guys are in a space where you want somebody to say it, whatever that means to you. You want somebody to say it. So there's something here that um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, that Ten of Cups energy, um, when that shows up to me, that can sometimes be a card of somebody who's not very confrontational. It's Mars and Pisces energy, right? So um, I feel like in a lot of situations, you've you've kept the peace, all right? And I feel like that's something that uh, has really been bothering you. You know, when the, when the Seven of Wands, I feel like that's part of that Seven of Wands for a lot of you, okay? Um, so I feel like this, with Queen of Wands being your overall and King being down here, 
I feel like that's something that you're, you're having a conversation that you're normally not bold enough to have. You normally do not address this. You want to keep the peace in the situation for whoever that's for, okay? Um, you have this Four of Pentacles. So I feel like, again, this is something that you've been holding back, all right? This is something that's really been weighing on you, adding a lot of pressure to your life and to your, you know, emotional plate is how that feels to me. So I think that that's something that's being talked about, okay? I think it's something that's being addressed and moved through, okay? You have the Three of Pentacles down here for your last card out, which is Sunday. Uh, that is Mars in Capricorn. So let's look at that. What's going on for Sagittarius here in the Three of Pentacles? Okay. We're getting the Two of Swords. We're getting the uh, Sun card and we're getting the Seven of Wands. So I feel like this is you defeating something here. Seven of Wands, uh, it can be a card of a lot of things. It can be a card of defeating something, passing a test. It can be a card of blockages, okay? Um, it can be a card, once again, of, you know, pushing things down. Um, so it can be a lot of things depending on what it's showing up with. And now that it's showing up with the Sun card, I feel like that is total enlightenment in regards to these blockages. It's going to take a while to work through them. Those pentacles are not yet yellow. So, you know, it's still a work in progress, but it's something that you have started to take a look at you know with this woman having the blindfold on here in this car that represents somebody who can only look within you know when it comes to becoming more enlightened and this is moon and Libra energy here with this card so that talks about your intuition and your emotions and it's a two so that talks about addressing them sifting through them dis deciding which side each thing belongs on here so I feel like that's something that's going to be clearing these blockages um, you know and bringing enlightenment into your space so I think that's something that you're starting to finally work through and address and it's okay to take breaks from that sometimes all right um so be gentle with yourself and that's what i feel like saying to you guys for this week um if you want something a little more tailored to your energy i do have the email readings open i also have some links in the comments if you guys are interested in checking any of that stuff out feel free all right so um if this is where we part thank you so much for watching and you all enjoy your week bye